Hi everyone, this is the premiere episode of Joe Rosario, Political Incorrect. Although the title of this episode is Burnt Alive, we're going to speak of Melissa Kuhn's 13-year-old son, to whom we refer as Johnny Kuhn. Johnny was on his way home when he was assaulted by two 16-year-old black American boys who burned his face with gasoline and told him, get what you deserve, cracker. No one in the mainstream media spoke of this. Why? Because everyone was riding on the wave of Trayvon Martin's shooting. Now, on the Trayvon Martin case, everyone has submitted their opinion, including the President of the United States, who has gone on record saying... You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. Now, if our comrade-in-chief, I mean, commander, our comrade-in-chief has expressed his outrage regarding the Trayvon Martin shooting. Why? Why doesn't the most powerful man on earth has anything to say about a younger kid who got scarred for life? The mainstream media has portrayed Trayvon Martin as a sweet little kid, opposed to the gangbanging thug he really was. Gold grill teeth, gangbanging Facebook paws, tattoos over the wrists and arms, and empty marijuana baggies on his backpack, and you tell me that's a little sweet kid? Are you fucking crazy? Are you kidding me? Please, somebody tell me, how does a sweet little kid get a 10 day suspension from school and has on his backpack a lot of gold jewelry and a freaking screwdriver? like this one, pull cars, whatever. If someone can explain, please be welcome to. Well, George Zimmerman definitely exceeded his authority because no neighborhood watch should engage a hoodlum. He has been demonized by the media as a racist, a racist, while George Zimmerman is Hispanic, a minority member. Liberal media has portrayed George Zimmerman as a white and when it became clear that he was not white then came up with the white Hispanic origin. Can you believe it? White Hispanic. If there's something like that, please find me now a black Caucasian. Please find me a black Caucasian to see him along with a white Hispanic. Now back on track. Zimmerman did stalk Trayvon Martin. We got that right. However, Trayvon Martin fit on the image of the criminal elements that had been terrorizing the neighborhood that George Zimmerman was supposed to be neighborhood watch captain. Now, hold there, hold there. Everyone is gonna tell me I'm a dirty racist, but what I'm going to say is the truth. If there's any culprit in this situation, it has been the black American members that have glorified, sanctified the thug culture, the hip hop culture, and the gangster culture. For almost a quarter century, we have glorified this hood culture, this thug culture, this gangsta image in the late 80s, in the 90s, and in the first decade of the 21st century. Oh yeah, the players, we are players, we are from the hood, yeah, straight up from ghetto. I myself, I am a minority member, I am Puerto Rican. I live in Puerto Rico, part of the United States of America. Sadly, my kinsmen have been portrayed in the media as welfare queens, gangbangers, uh, drunkards, drug dealers, while most of my people are either professionals or hardworking fellows. But sadly, 
the media has sold that image of us. Likewise, most of the black community is a group of professionals and hardworking fellows who are striving to improve their lives and improve their community. However, there are certain stereotypes and certain profiles that are being perpetuated by that ghetto mentality, that thug culture, that hip hop world that many black men, Latino men, Asian men, and white men try to imitate. So, returning to our main theme, where's Al Shrapton and Jesse Jackson crying out, HATE! 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 Where are the Black Panthers offering a $10,000 bounty on Simmer's man's head? Is ain't that a thinly veiled contract hit? Or why Trayvon's Martin Mother did trademark justice for Trayvon Martin? You know what? I'll tell you why. Profit. They're throwing race baits. They want to lead us into a race war. The new Black Panther Party said all black people mobilized to Florida to hunt down George Zimmerman and bring him to justice. Why offer a $10,000 bounty on a man? That's against the law. That's a thinly veiled hit contract on Zimmerman's head. But where are the authorities on that? Where is the Secretary of Justice, Mr. Eric Holder, saying about that? Nothing. Shh. Zip zero. Nada. Now, a question to Ash Rapton and Jesse Jackson. Where are your squeals when a black American kills another black American? Where are your squeals when two British tourists get murdered by a 17-year-old black American male? Where are your squeals when an 18-year-old black American girl savagely punched a Hispanic girl in a soccer match because she accidentally tripped her? Let's not be hypocrites. This is not about justice and fairness. This is just about race, making this a race war. Johnny Kuhn deserves justice. His family deserves justice. If George Zimmerman is found guilty by a jury composed of his peers, then he shall be punished by the acts he committed. But we cannot be hypocrites. We cannot be misled by the liberal media into these race base and race wars. We cannot be part of that. We are better than that. Last but not least, I want to give a warm greeting to all my friends Sandra, Isabel, Betsy, Beatrice, and all the members of the Ladies of the Second Amendment Puerto Rico chapter. By the way, I fully support the Senate Project 2466, which is also known as the Constitutional Firearms Act of Puerto Rico. Long live the Second Amendment. Yeah, I almost forgot. The title of this episode is Burn Life. So let's see some flame. You get what you deserve, cracker. You get what you deserve, cracker. Burn, 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 burn,